Today I am going to talk about Tyafield bus draw, also known as DES. DES is a non-steroidal compound with estrogenic activity. It works as an endocrine disruptor, binding to the estrogen receptor. This drug was advertised as being safe, effective, and was sold to improve the baby's health. It was prescribed to pregnant women to prevent abortion, miscarriage, and premature labor. But actually, not really. Pregnant women took the prescribed pills without knowing it would have unpredictable outcomes. DES was prescribed between 1938 and 1971, with doses starting at 5 and going up to 150 micrograms daily. The pregnancies seemed to develop well, with healthy babies and mothers. But it had tragic outcomes later in life. The generations affected by DES are known as DES mothers, DES daughters and sons, and DES grandchildren. This is a classic example of what is called transgenerational effects. The mother is the first to affect a generation, the baby the second, and its germline cells the third. This means that even though the DES mothers were directly exposed, the children exposed in utero and the grandchildren that were never exposed show consequences. The DES mothers have 1.4 greater risk for the development of breast cancer, which means this risk is 4 to 50% higher if compared to the non-exposed population, being classified as moderate. DES daughters show infertility and anatomical abnormalities, such as a uterus shaped like the letter T, different from the normal triangular uterine cavity. They also present a rare type of cancer, the clear cell adenocarcinoma, that manifests around the 20 years of age. Some of the mechanisms by which diethylbestrol elicit these effects are by reducing the expression of an important development gene and increasing its methylation, deactivating some functions. The ES sons show benignant cystus and cryptoarctism, which means that the testes do not descend as it was supposed to. They also present hypospadias, an abnormal position of the urethral opening, antecicular hypoplasia, and incomplete development of the testes. DES grandchildren effects are still debated. Until now, the granddaughters seem to show no effect, but the grandsons seem to have an increased his risk for hypospadias. Thus, only the males are affected. As a consequence of this exposure, the CDC estimates that 5 to 10 million people were affected only in the US. This number is something around the population of Switzerland. Unfortunately, we can just put a bandage in all of this. But there are treatment options available. The first step is the identification of the affected individuals. The second step is the development of medical recommendations and guidelines. The third step is a close medical follow-up. 
these simple actions help the life of exposed people happier and safer. Thank you.